Do you guys see this right here? It says hack react. What's going on guys? My name is Alex. I was a student hack reactor. I am not a student hack reactor anymore. So for the past 12 weeks I've been making videos about a uh, weekly weekly videos about everything we do in hack reactor week after week. This is the last video because we just finished week 12. So this is the final video. But if you're if you're here to hear about my whole experience and if I think like uh, I guess it's not like a recap. This is more of a just what happened during week 12. It's specifically week 12. I will be making more videos. I'm also looking at my computer here because I have some notes because I did notice and a couple of you guys mentioned that uh, on my last video, I kind of like just I was all over the place. I did not have anything. I did not can prepare, so I do apologize for that. But just it, got, it had been a long two weeks, so now I'm more prepared. So yeah, uh, I want to be watching the screen just FYI. Uh, and going back to the, what I was saying, uh, this video is just to talk about it specifically about week 12, but I will be making videos about my experience, uh, remote versus in person, what, what's my opinion, because everything's my opinion, you know? If I think Hack Reactor is worth it, uh, how did I, why did I pick, why did I pick Hack Reactor? How much did it cost? How did I pay for it? Uh, any other things and maybe how to, how to prepare for Hack Reactor because I feel like that's an important question oh, or even maybe like a big one what do I wish I would have done differently you know because a lot of people ask at the end of the day you know like a lot, a lot at the end of the bootcamp people kind of like ask those questions to its, itself so okay let's start with week 12 so as I mentioned week 12 it was uh, wasn't any instructions it was just uh, outcomes and by outcomes I mean like we got a career coach who guided us and helped us with a lot of things regard in regards to the to our career in career in regards to the job search and our careers and basically just those kind of things so uh i do feel like our career coach she is completely amazing like she knows exactly kind of what's happening so for example right like she we, we cover a lot of important points such as uh, what are the technical interviews that I should talk about during my interviews? You know, like I don't want to like for example, right? Like if I have an interview, I probably shouldn't be spending too much time talking about HTML or CSS, you know, like or Gate or something kind of like that, but you know, like maybe talk about more what I did some of the projects that I work on mention some specific examples talk about, you know, like like I guess like the I mean it makes sense, right? But it's really it makes sense, but it does not make sense because until you are there uh, you'll 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 see kind of what I'm talking about. Like, or if you already been through that, you know, like you don't want you don't want to spend your time like in other. You want to just talk about like the highlights, right? Like the main points. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's I guess that's every everyone knows it, but I, but uh, the way she explained it, though, like uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not I'm not doing well. I'm not doing a good job explaining things, but uh. Yeah. So after that, we had a uh, so we had uh, she helped us with like technical interviews. Personal interviews, right? Like that's another big one, right? Because for example, uh, after talking to her, she kind of said that like, hey, you should be talking about like the things you did in your previous job, you know? Because even though it's not related to like, no, I mean it's relatable to what you're gonna be doing because you're you had you had this job. You should be try to like align it, right? Like for example, like uh, I work with engineers in my other company. I work with uh, I work with databases. I work with other. I mean, I work doing SQL queries, uh, running like, you know, like stuff like that. So it was cool that uh, she brought some cool points and uh, now that I'm analyzing some of the job descriptions and some of the things that I'll be doing daily, I feel like that during, I feel like that, that during Hack Reactor, I actually did uh, some harder problems and some harder thing, projects than actual work, you know, because if you if you read or if you have any people that you know like in the industry, you'll know that uh, a lot of the work, a lot of the, the things they do, right? Like even though yeah, it is challenging, but it's not too challenging once you get to do them daily, on a daily basis, right? So I did feel like Hack Reactor prepared me for those things. Obviously, like I still have some like there's still like some gaps in my knowledge that I want to work on before I start working. But I think like I'll be I'll be good, you know. Like so it was nice and um, I don't know, like I feel like I'm. Emotionally strong now to go do everything. 
Oh, she also basically helped us with our GitHub, with our LinkedIn, resumes, cover letters, and the whole process. She just basically explained us how like interviews are gonna be different from company to company. You know, like a company might give you a coding challenge, a different company might give you a, a project to work on, another company might do like seven interviews, another company might just do one. Uh, negotiation, what to spec about salaries, when to discuss salaries, uh, and most importantly, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but Hack Reactor provides you a career coach for six, I think six months, after or until you find a job, so one of those, I think, yeah, definitely know like at least six months or until you find a job, but if you don't find a job, they still help you, you know, like it won't be, they won't be helping you as much, but you get six months of career coaching, and what this means is that uh, uh, you have a meeting with her once a week. Uh, so she meets with you once a week and tells you like about your goals and the numbers, specifically numbers, right? Like how many, how many, how many applications did you send? How many interviews did you have? How many people did you reach out on LinkedIn? How many? Because yeah, like also we brought that was that was kind of like an important point that we talk about. You should I should be talking to people in my network about roles right like maybe someone can introduce me to someone else so that's kind of what happened right like uh, this week was a great week you know like as far as like outcomes it was definitely worth it. It, it it didn't just because we didn't do a lot of technical work i don't think like this week was less important than the others I actually feel like it was as important maybe more important than the others but uh yeah that's that's what we did for the week right but another thing that i'll talk about right like so for example uh i got a mentor assigned i got a i got a, a mentor that he will be again just it's not a career coach this different program that i applied for and i got selected which i'm really happy stoked uh i got to sign a mentor who just like my career coach wants to help me and be successful and that's asking me questions we were supposed to we were supposed to talk for 30 minutes and we ended up talking for like an hour and a half because me and him we just clicked and started dropping knowledge and telling me a bunch of things you know he did for his job search what to study how to prepare for interviews and told me like if i have any questions just reach out to him and he invited me to come down to like san francisco and like and meet up with like the go to his uh job place and just have lunch with him meet people amazing guy you know like i'm really impressed but uh, again like um hack reactor is like it's a little um People in Hack Reactor are really helpful. Like you know, like once you graduate and people in that went to Hack Reactor, they actually mean to help, which is really cool. I'm really, uh, I think that's really cool. You know, that people want to help out each other, um, just because we went to the same program. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, I'm rocking the hoodie that they gave us. It sucks because this hoodie is like a, it's a medium, and I feel like I don't know if you can tell, but it's like super small. I feel like it's pretty small on me. I want a large, but I got a hoodie that it doesn't really fit me. But um, whatever, you know, like I'll just rock it. But it's, I did tell him like, hey bro, like you guys had like three months to figure out my size and you guys messed it up. So please send me a new one. But that's not important for now, let's continue. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, what else, what else, what else? Oh, yeah, uh, this is huge. We get added to our, our Slack, right? Like, I mean, you Hack Reactor has a Slack channel, as you guys might know. But we got added to a channel with all every single Hack Reactor alum. And I feel like that channel itself, that might be worth the cost of the bootcamp, you know, like just, I'm, I'm not exaggerating, but if you have a Slack channel with over, I don't even know how many people, like I think it was like eight, over 800 people in the same Slack channel who's uh, who you can directly message to you can send them a message and they probably get back to you, you know because I feel like it's actually really responsive Just think about it then networking opportunities that you can have you know like it's uh, um, I might be exaggerating. I don't think I am just because I was in a fraternity And uh, it was kind of similar, you know, like I feel like it's hack reactor is a little bit similar in that aspect that if you're part of a fraternity or a club or something during college but hack reactor is just the same right people want to help each other out and they want to like make sure like you know like hey i got you bro what do you need you know like let me help you with questions or blah 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 
so yeah like i feel like this channel is huge for someone for like especially for like a junior developer for someone like me coming in into like the industry that wanted wanted to make my way uh i already reached out to two guys since i'm thinking of moving to san diego i i asked him questions so like hey man what's one person replied immediately the other person did not reply but i, I mean that feel like that's how it is you know like sometimes i mean i feel like they're gonna reply but i just i send them a message like a day, day ago so i'm not really expecting like an immediate response because i told him uh hey uh my question was hey how's the market in san diego like do you have any recommendations please let me know if you have a couple of minutes to talk so that question is a little bit loaded because you know like they might be they might be thinking like oh my god this guy wants to be like wants to jump on a zoom call like the other guy replied right away and told me like hey man i'm working from home i can't really talk to right now but uh uh and told me like a couple of things which he was nice you know like he was nice that they reply immediately i mean that kid reply immediately but told me like hey man i'm working from home uh he had my kids at home blah 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 so yeah i mean dude that channel is cool like i'm stoked for that you know like uh they're also like some of the topics they're bringing like it's again like think about it like this right like you have a channel of 800 people who are like like-minded people driven successful who are doing well in their careers so you're getting like a lot of like cool knowledge you know like like they were they were talking about like discussions about like i mean i don't want to talk about coronavirus right but they were making like they were commenting on that they were talking about like the economy and they're engineers you know like you you will you will think that they're all, all they want to talk about is code but you know like they're actually bringing like some cool points you know like what's like hey the economy like it's what you, you guys think is gonna drop blah blah you think like coronavirus like some stuff like that you know like it's cool so i talk about my mentor uh what else am i talking about yes um we also got added to something called the mastermind group mastermind group is just uh so in my class right we had 20 people that graduated 20 yeah 20 around 20 so they broke it down into five people four or five 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 yes there's five groups of five and we're gonna be meeting with with each other um once a week i think not twice a week for for now twice a week as a group and we're gonna like it's just kind of like an accountability group where we meet up and tell each other like hey bro have you been applying for jobs have you been studying have you been prepping have you have you been building applications i'm gonna ask him like hey have you gone to the gym bro because you're looking fat no i'm just kidding but you know like it's cool that we have that, that group, you know, because uh, I guess you don't want to leave, right? Like, you don't want to, like, leave your boot camp and then be, like, kind of, like, forget about, like, the schedule and, like, the same drive and the same mentality that you had while in the boot camp. So it's cool that we get to continue with that in the mastermind group. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, you get the idea. Like, it's just a group that we're going to be kind of like an accountability group. So that's cool. Uh, then I had my exit interview with my tech mentor Just kind of like talk about like some things that uh, I like and dislike about Hack Reactor And just uh, Yeah, I mean it was cool like I really like I, I got really close to my tech to my To my I didn't say tech mentor but my you know like the person like in charge of Hack Reactor like the lead So and that's when she basically told me like hey congratulations you are a hack reactor graduate and i got like super stoked you know because he would that's i guess that's gonna be that's when he became official you know like that uh that uh well i got my hoodie before so like i got my hoodie like a day before and then they told me like oh you're gonna graduate so that was super cool you know uh yeah and uh, i mean i don't want to like ruin this for you in case you guys do something if, in case you go to hack reactor and talk about and do it but we had like we had something like we had a reflection like all of us it was like a two hour reflection where each person talk about um so there was some questions right like for i mean i don't want to ruin it for you again but uh, i mean i don't think it's gonna get ruined if you, in case you go through it but uh questions were like uh what was the funniest thing that someone did in hack reactor and so we all laugh you know like we laugh about it uh I don't know, like, um, I mean, there was some laugh, some laugh, uh, some laughing, some crying. It was really emotional because, 
you know, like, we're all hearing each other saying, like, hey, for me, like, I don't know, like, the proudest moment that I had, you know, like, and people were talking about, people were mentioning, like, they were, people were crying, so it was super emotional, right before graduation, and then we had graduation, I might put a clip about my <laughs> graduation video, but I might not, you know, because I don't know, like, if I'm able to get the video into YouTube, uh, because I think like the video is like a different format, but um, that'd be cool, you know, like if I can put in like a small clip of my video, but that's all I have for week 12, you know, like that's, I mean, I, I feel like the video is already like long enough, I don't know if it's long enough, or I'm, I'm trying to watch the time, but uh, yeah, that's it, I'm a Hack Reactor graduate, I'm stoked about it, I'm nervous to go face the world, you know, like to actually make it happen, but I'm, I feel like I'm prepared, you know, like I just gotta like do more, put more time on it, you know, like do some more studying. And hopefully, um, eventually, I'll get to tell you guys, I'll get to tell you the news that I got a job. And I, as I mentioned, I'll be making more videos about specifically um, each topic, right? Like more, more, gen more specific topics instead of just general. But I, I'm really, I'm really, I hope my videos through like each week after week were helpful and maybe like they were able to like guide you and maybe you're able to make a decision about something. But just know that everything I made, uh, I was honest and I'm being, I gave my best, I tried to give my best opinion about it. But if you guys, if you guys have any questions, reach out, don't please reach out, keep reaching out, I'll, I have more time in my hands now to reply to your messages or calls, or if you want to jump on a call, I'd be more than happy to, you know, because I, that's kind of what, that's kind of what I did before, you know, like, I was doing some research, asking people about it, and, uh, it was great, people helped me out, so, like, now I want to get back to you guys, so, again, thank you for watching, if you've been watching my be, be week after week, I really want to say thank you, uh, a lot of a lot of you guys pushed me through some difficult moments when I, I was like shit I'm really not understanding what I'm doing and uh, I kind of like remember like That I made I told, I told people that I was in hack reactor. And I didn't want to I didn't want to let anyone down. So Thank you again, and I hope you enjoy my videos and uh, I wish you the best in your journey if you're gonna decide to code